Welcome to Season Chasers. I'm Rob Freeman. Those that love nature and outdoor sports spend a lot of quality time looking for adventure throughout the year. The more you study, the more you learn about the peak seasons in nature. It's fun to know when it's best to go fishing or hunting, when it's time to pick blueberries, wild mushrooms, or native pecans. Sometimes the peak season is close to home, right in your own backyard, or it could be miles away near the mountains and the sea. Either way, this program will chase the seasons where the action is hot. All right, we got the boat in the water. We got the motor running. We got the big, heavy spoonbill rods. Got great big snagging hooks on them. And uh, we're gonna see if we can't connect with something and share with you today on Season Chasers. Thanks for coming along. Season Chasers, sponsored by CP Communications. Come see us at CP Communications, your locally owned and operated U.S. Cellular Authorized Agent in Pittsburgh, Parsons, Chanute, and Fort Scott. Locally owned for over 18 years. Kansas Land Tire, your Goodyear dealer at 9th and Broadway in Pittsburgh. O'Malley Implement, home of the John Deere Gator, South 69 in Pittsburgh. And by Blue Ribbon Farm and Home. And this is the Goofy Goat, right here. Sometimes when it comes to fishing, I'm the teacher. But other times, I'm That's the student. Like today, the at Grand camp. Lake in Oklahoma. I've never spoonbill fished before, but I'm in the boat today with Jason Ward and Dan Gill. And right away, Jason hooks one, and Dan Not gets the, the land. we're looking for. Probably about 20 pounds. We'll throw that one back. Try to revive them. Looks good. Okay, now we're going to repeat the process. <laughs> Look for his big brother. Is that just trolling him? Yeah, it's a pretty nice one here. What do you think of that sinker now? I um, huh? think you got the right amount of weight on, Ward. Oh, and there's... Whoa. Oh, this is a nice one, man. Okay, the season is winter time. It's uh, one of the first few days of March. We're down here at Grand Lake of the Cherokees. And we've been uh, pulling these big treble hooks behind the boat with some weight on them. Come on, that's it. Got some heavy tackle here. And this is a time that uh, paddlefish kind of accumulate in these rivers and go on their spawning runs. So I'm learning how to how to do this and I got pretty good teachers with me today. Jason's already boated one and now Dan's got one. And I'm gonna get to try to bulldog this one in the boat. You wanna move, can you set those poles on the other side so I can swing this in closer? Thank you. Jason, I think this might be the biggest one I've got. At least it feels like it. Oh, look here. Oh yeah. It's a big guy. Is it hooked good? Hooked in the yeah, he's not. Here. He's not done. He's gonna be waiting a minute. Yeah, look at this guy. He's got to be at least four feet long. Uh, he's probably. You grab him by the tail. I grab pounds. him by the mouth and try to pull the head. Grab in. the tail if you can. All right, that's fine. All right, this will be good. That's however you want to do it. The tail's easier. <laughs> no, it's not. Well, he's coming back. Yeah, we got a hand on him. Got him pretty good there in that side fan. Still way like it. Bringing this one in the boat, right? Yeah. yeah well, you, you grab him on the nose or not? However you can grab him. Grab him by the lip if you. It's over. Yeah. He's in the boat. 
Yeah, that's a nice one. Cool. All right, let me get my pole out of the way now. So how do we attend? How do we attend to these? Woo! What's that? That's as long as my leg, Jason. Good job. Boy, this is the first time I've been this close to one, and this is really a prehistoric fish. This is a big old guy. That's what we've been sitting out here in the, on the lake for all day. <laughs> it's been oh. pretty chilly out here. Cool. Chilly start to things. Thank you. Down. All right, now we're moving. That's too fast there, isn't it? Let me back it off. More line now, I think. Well, this gets it to the bottom, all right. We're doing a method that uh, I was introduced to uh, for the first time on this trip from uh, Jason and Dan. We're uh, trolling here in Grand Lake uh, along one of the bluffs. As we look on the graph, there's fish at about all, all levels here. We're about 38 foot of water, but uh, we're seeing fish at about 35 feet and clear up to the top. And some of them look pretty big on the graph. So uh, use this really long rod, got uh, Kind of spider wire type monofilament li or uh, braided line on here, so it it doesn't really stretch at all. And I've got a one pound weight underneath the giant treble hook, and we're trying to snag something the old-fashioned way here today. And if we get something, these uh, spoonbill or paddlefish can get really large. And uh, the state of Oklahoma has a situation where they come around when you catch one of these and pick it up, they take the eggs out of it and clean the fish for you. And I think it's a pretty good money maker from what I understand. <laughs> they make some really good caviar from these uh, paddlefish eggs. We just want to catch them. All right. Well, I finally got me a spoonbill bite. Dan's got the fish then. No, Dan's got me. You're under the motor. Okay, now, now you're over it. Yeah, I got a fish. I do. Okay, you're, you're twisted on me, let's see. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're loose. There we go. If you wanna catch a big fish, you gotta have a big rod. We got that today. And I think this is an Oklahoma pole bender. See how this hookup turns out, coming up next on Season Chasers. Extreme environments can cause a spontaneous change in DNA, resulting in unexpected power and agility. Introducing the all-new, all-powerful Gator RSX 850i. 62 horsepower, a fully independent multi-link suspension, and a top speed of 53 miles per hour. It's a whole new species of Gator. I'm Travis from Kansas Land Tire in Pittsburgh. We offer name brand tires like Goodyear, Dunlop, Kelly Springfield, Mastercraft, and virtually any tire for the job. We also staff ASE certified technicians to provide oil service, transmission and brake work, engine diagnostics, battery service, alignments, and more. We also now have a nationwide warranty and ask us about payment options like Goodyear Credit. 
Kansas Land Tire, 9th and Broadway in Pittsburgh, and authorized Goodyear dealer. See our ad and names and numbers. Why switch phone service because of bad reception? When you can adapt, like this family, with reception antlers. Say goodbye to adapting to bad reception and hello to the highest network satisfaction of any national carrier. U.S. Cellular. Hello better. Introducing the Samsung Galaxy S3 for only $199.99 at CP Communications. Hi, I'm Chuck from CP Communications, the area's only locally owned and operated U.S. Cellular authorized agent, serving the local area for the past 18 years. Okay, you're, you're twisted on me. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're loose. There we go. If you want to catch a big fish, you got to have a big rod. We got that today. And I think this is an Oklahoma pole bender. Oh, here. Here he is. Got him right in the nose. Look at this guy. Now what do we do? All right, you want to let me give you a glove? Yeah, just put it on your right hand. Doesn't matter which way, and then you just grab him by the tail. Well, just it keeps it from. I mean, it doesn't slide so bad. They're slimy. I mean. All right, here's the fun part. I'm gonna try to pull the tail around to you. Oh, he didn't, he didn't help, help matters any, did he? Welcome aboard, senor. Pull him in. I am. I'm trying to get it back up. In the boat. Now that's what I'm talking about. Thank you. These, these gloves are awesome, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it makes a difference. Yeah. All right, let's get a look at this guy. We'll get him unhooked and tended to, and then uh, I'll run the boat and you guys catch one. Nice fish. Okay. Yeah, after all this pulling I'd done through there, when he finally hit, I knew it. I knew what it was. But that thing just fell right out. That mouth like a five-gallon bucket, don't they? Yeah. That's not I've never seen these up close before like this. What? You got a banded one. What does that mean? Yeah, what does that mean? Yeah, you, might better, point, yeah. you might point that out. Did I win anything? No, but you can point that out that they're doing the survey. Okay. Just about guy loose here. I noticed that on there, I wonder what it was. Ah, get this out of my finger. Not for a long time. Alrighty then, let me show you what we got here. This is Rob's lesson at spoonbill fishing. And this is a big old fish. We're down at Grand Lake of the Cherokees. We've been trolling off this boat first week of March, and I guarantee there's no casual boaters out today. It's snaggers, and they're out here because these guys are coming up the rivers. And uh, this is a hoot, uh, pulling a big treble hook behind. Now this one's got a tag in its jaw, and we're gonna 
tag this ourselves and turn it into the Oklahoma officials to let them uh, clean it for us and see what this can tell us. But Jason says this is kind of like shooting a banded goose and uh, this is a lot of fun. These fish don't have any teeth or anything. They sift uh, food out of the water and this mouth really opens up and prehistoric looking fish and we're glad to bring this in aboard the boat today and share it with you on Season Chasers. I've been studying, I've been learning, and thanks to uh, Jason and Dan for sharing this today. And uh, we're going to try to get a couple in their name on them next on Season Chasers. Thanks a lot. Whoo! Oh, there you go. Cool. Yeah. Fish there. You get to take the rest of the day off too now. <laughs> Good job. Be a hundred and ten pounder, that's what they do. I don't know, are you going to be able to land a big one? That took about 20 minutes, you thought it was a log. It was on a log. You know why? I think I'm bigger wrapped around the end of the Oh, well, no wonder. <laughs> 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 uh, you mean you taking any what is the tagging program? Yeah. It would be the one of them. Basically, the 1999 year plan. We're going to have five one year plan. What's that band? This might be one of those uh, collaterals. It's a. Crappy looking color. Gold. Gold. Well, they're tracking that up to that year class. And also, some of the fish had telemetry in them, so we know where they're moving. That one, did you pick that one? It was. Are they putting it back? They're going to turn it loose. But that fish is valuable because it's tagged. We thought that one might be that. Roger, I think you only won, boys. You got one or two? No, that was it. Just, just one. one. Oh, I thought we released it. Just one. There. This one. He caught a smaller one. We were able to release it. The final fishing. I hope you get a permit. Yes, sir. I have to take all the fancy cameras and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I give have a permit <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> There's two. Oh, no. <laughs> Oklahoma has very liberal. Uh, you can paddle fish 365 days a year. The paddle fish center will be clean your fillets. The tagging, they're doing all types of research. We're going to help a young man, okay? He's got telemetry tags coming, they're not here yet. Is when he's in the boat with us, as soon as the fish is hooked, he starts a stopwatch and see how long it takes to play the fish in. Then, uh, we treat them like some anglers treat them. They get kicked around the boat. Somebody shoves their arm up their gills to get a picture. You know, they hold them like this for pictures. Okay, then they don't want that one. 
they throw it back. Okay. He's putting the celebrity tags. It's a, it's a time deal. And how much is roughed up and all this stuff. Then does that female still feel good enough to go up the river as far? Last year he tagged five fish. He hopes to tag five this year. They're counting down the days till spring at Blue Ribbon Farm and Home. Now's the time to prepare your garden for the spring weather ahead. Blue Ribbon has hundreds of varieties of top quality garden seed so you can get started. Whether you have a lap dog, a sport dog, chickens, or a goofy goat, Blue Ribbon Farm and Home has all the feeds you'll ever need. You talk about a goofy goat, and this is the goofy goat right here. Why switch phone service because of bad reception, when you can adapt, like this family, with reception antlers? Say goodbye to adapting to bad reception, and hello to the highest network satisfaction of any national carrier. U.S. Cellular. Hello better. Introducing the Samsung Galaxy S3 for only $199.99 at CP Communications. Hi, I'm Chuck from CP Communications, the area's only locally owned and operated U.S. Cellular authorized agent, serving the local area for the past 18 years. And if you're wanting to go hunting, there's no shortage of upland game birds out here at Pawnee Wildlife Preserve. We're open with the extended season through March, so give us a call at the number on your screen if you'd like to bring out your own dogs or fully guided hunts available. Pawnee Wildlife Preserve, Fort Scott, Kansas. Stan Gill, ladies and gentlemen, bringing in a big fish. Some people call me Lander. Dan's going to take a little rest here. <laughs> this is some work, and uh, you got what, a pound of lead on here? A pound of lead and been snagging for two straight days. So you're... And uh, w one thing I've noticed is, is I've been doing this for part of two days, and my arms feel a little bit longer than when we started. <laughs> I don't know what the deal is. But uh, he's about got this one up to the boat, and this murky water, we're not going to be able to see it till it gets right to the edge. But here we go. Oh yeah. This is a paddlefish, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, you want to leave some line out so you got a little ways to move them around or what do you want me to do? Well, I mean just I'll give his tail as soon as I can here. Hooked in the nose. Look at that. Yeah, just bring them over here and I'll just try to get the tail. Or the nose. Doesn't matter. Let's just do the nose thing. I'm on aboard, sir. Here we go. That's a little nicer one. I'll keep that. Oh, yeah. Look here. These are sifters, everybody. There's no teeth in them at all, but they sift nutrients out of the water and uh, I don't think there's any bones at all in them. No it's teeth? Yeah. Runs up the middle of... uh, you got him pretty good here. We might just want to cut this off if you're done. I'm just going to cut that hook off for me and I'll just take my pole apart. Okay. All right. We'll lay him down there. Cool. Right. Got it. Okay, Jason. It's your turn, buddy. Jason, you beast, what are you doing? During the course of this chilly weekend, Dan tagged one each day. Jason got several on catch and release. The one I kept weighed 35.9 pounds. We saw another fellow boat one right at 65 pounds. This is a pole bender. <laughs> you might have a little high there. anything with these gloves it's just amazing the difference these things make really wow squeaker 
Are you going to try to catch a bigger one? Huh? It's a hot spot. It's up to you. You want to hold him up there, Jason? Take responsibility for what you caught there. All right. It's a good thing we got a wide screen on this because you got the whole fish in there. Good job, Jason. And throw this little one back. And this is a little one in paddle paddlefish terms. My goodness. <laughs> Watch him get your pole. <laughs> so right, you get to keep fishing. Yeah, I'm gonna give it one more shot. Let's do it. My, my arms are still a little short. <laughs> well, I really want to thank uh, Jason Ward and Dan Gill for inviting me down here to Grand Lake in Oklahoma to uh, help catch my first spoonbill. And I uh, certainly enjoyed it. Uh, we went out in this small boat and uh, got to dress quite warmly for it. And um, got to do a little trolling around out here with some really, really heavy tackle. We use these great big treble hooks with as much as eight ounce to 16 ounces of lead trailed behind it in a drop fashion rig. So um, worked out real well. Um, uh, Dan caught a really good one yesterday. Jason caught several really uh, interesting catfish that we weren't targeting. And uh, yesterday I got a whole lot of, uh, of uh, exercise <laughs> and practice at snagging. And I guarantee you, there's a lot of work doing this. We said our arms feel a little bit longer today and Jason got to fish a little bit longer than the rest of us today, even though he uh, released one and uh, hooked into a couple others. I finally caught my first one and uh, got to see what these things look like up close and personal. Now our next step is uh, to head down to uh, the uh, fish and game cleaning station where they uh, harvest the eggs from the uh, females that are uh, uh, caught here and they clean their fish, the fish for you. There's a real, uh, I guess, specific way to do these that uh, I'm going to find out a little bit about and find out the exact size of the one I caught today because their scales never lie. Tune in each week for some of the stuff you just won't see on other shows. Outdoors, wildlife, and a life of adventure. Being on the lookout for natural foods and making the most of what the wildlife provides. Study, learn, and share the great outdoors with someone who's important to you.